Would you believe me if I told you that the first time I walked through these doors, I died? Not physically, of course, but some days it felt like I would. These past five years were not the greatest. They were honestly some of the worst, filled with terrible pain, but also this is where I've experienced some of my greatest joys. I found the love of my life here. My best friendships were formed here. My faith was strengthened here. So no, these have not been the best five years of my life, but they were so impactful. I gained confidence here, strength and poise here. I believe for the first time in my life that I belong here. We're really doing this. Sometimes, well, most times, it's pretty difficult to get through um, an entire school day. I think I have how many days? Is it? How many days until December eighteenth? Seven. Wait, that means Thursday. I graduate in two weeks and three days. Hmm. Say hi to Noah. Say hi, Noah. No, to the camera. Say hi, buddy. Yeah. Oh, he's such a good boy. It's Thursday. And I, have I even been to school this week? No. Um, sometimes, hold on. Yeah, I haven't been to school this week because I had flare-ups, okay? Um, they always get, like, I don't want to say pretty bad, but pretty bad when it comes to, like, finals, midterms, um, yeah, school, and so... I got to a point early on in the semester um, because I, I came back with optimism. If you don't know, I took a year off, so I was really scared. I was, like, wrestling with God for a really long time about this. And so by the time that I re-enrolled was um, this past summer. So I have not had a break since May, and that is the way that I prefer it, honestly. I just want to get done because I should have graduated last year. But got to take care of yourself, you know, got to take care of yourself. When I first, like, enrolled in the summer, I thought it was going to be easier because all of my classes were online. That was not the case. I had surgery. I had flare-up after flare-up after flare-up, emergency room visit after emergency room visit, and I was like, dang, I thought I could do this, Lord. I thought you told me that you were going to help me get through this. And so this is the first semester since 2020 that campus is, like, fully back on person. Obviously, like you did before, you know, that time. You have online classes. I just didn't have any online classes that I could take that I haven't already taken. So I was petrified. Online was easier for me because I could have a flare-up and I could still sit and study and watch the lectures and everything. And so I, it got to a point where I really just had to talk to my professors and be like, yo, bro, this sucks. And I hate that it's this way because I love school. I love learning. I love my professors. Um, I love my freaking classes. Like, this is my favorite semester that I've ever had at school. And so I want to be there, you know. And on top of that, you're paying to try to ching ching, okay. But I got to a point where I was just like, I have to be honest with all of you and let you know that I literally have to choose between coming to class or doing the work because by the end of the day after I've done all my classes I don't I literally don't have the energy to do anything else like I literally just have to lay down the rest of the day if I'm able to stay home and conserve as much energy as I have I can guarantee that I can actually like understand the material and be prepared for my exams and my papers and everything else so that's what I've been doing um I think I'm probably going to send them another email to let them know that these past these last few weeks I'm probably not going to be there unless a miracle happens the hour is late I am sleepy and I'm off to study thank you person here one of the only people here and I stopped I only studied for like an hour and a half and I'm working on my website <laughs> my website because um, 
I'm gearing up to come back to all of my social media platforms and my blog is coming back. So I'm gonna work on that until I'm until I leave and then we're gonna try again tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I wish I could say that it gets better. I mean, for some people of course it does, but that wasn't really my testimony. I feel like mine is a bit different. Um and you know, I had prophecies that I'd finished school before things even got bad. I went from being like, well, duh, I'm going to graduate to Lord. How am I physically going to be able to do this? And I mean, it was humbling. <laughs> it was humbling to say the least, but I'm proud. So it's here. Just give me a second. She's here. I want you, before I even show you this, tell me which one you think I ended up getting. Was it this one? Was it that one? Was it something else? Please let your girl know. I am pretty nervous because I got the, I got the last one that was in stock and I'm pretty sure it was a return because it has been out of stock completely for months, okay? Months. And someone, after I bought it, I was like super confident. I was like, yes. But then somebody in the comments I was reading, they said that they had to literally return the dress twice because it still didn't fit right after they exchanged it for the first size that they thought that they should have gotten instead. So I'm nervous because we don't have that much time. It's literally December 1st. My party is on the 16th. Anyways, let's open it. <laughs> I'm getting the first peek at this dress. Okay. All right. Oh, let's open the rest of it together, okay? The dress that I got is... Oh, baby. If this is not the amount of extra... If this is not the amount of extra... I'm gonna try this on. I'm gonna try this on, I'm gonna try this on, I'm gonna try this on. One second. 